Okay, good morning. Um, I'm going to continue with my tiger here. Uh, uh, today I decided I'm going to work on uh, the big ear here and possibly the bunny and maybe on the eyebrows. I don't know if we'll get to this year. Well, I'll probably do a little bit in each, um, depending how long it'll take. Now, um, the colors that I used last time, maybe I can focus them a little better, was yellow or purple. Number 942, and again, I'm using Prismacolor pencils, and uh, uh, this is burnt something, or it's number 943, which I got a list here now. Um, well, anyway, I'm not going to waste time on here. I need to sharpen my pencils, and uh, last time I, I mentioned how my son-in-law gave me my Prismacolor set of 72 but yeah oh i forgot to mention he also gave me the pencil sharpener the prismacolor pencil sharpener with that now i uh, previously i was using my stadler pencil sharpener which i like i mean this is a really nice sharpener too it's got the two different spots and uh in the, the prismacolor I, I love it too it's also another good so now i have two good pencil sharpeners but since I, I have two good ones, what I do is I use the Prismacolor for my Prismacolor pencils. And for all the other pencils, I use my Stadler. And that's, uh, and right now I need to sharpen my pencils because as you can see, they kind of dull. And I haven't called it since uh, um, I did the video. Now on the Tiger itself, because, you know, it can get kind of boring just you know doing the same thing and it takes a lot of time on a video I might do like the rest of the touch-ups on the tiger itself off camera but I haven't done anything to it yet and uh, for now uh, so far everything I done has been on video now I've decided that I want to add uh, another a darker brown like maybe around the eyebrows and the ears because I think it will really emphasize it but let me show you something now um, I've been working on the other picture that originally I was going to do on video and uh, let me I'll come out a little bit so you can see I've actually been working on my wheel as you can see um, it's come out, re I think it's come out really nice. Uh, on top of the wash that I did, I've actually gone over with different shades of a darker, in the, uh, a darker blue. And it is different shades, it's not all. Um, I also did, I also did my, my Ray and another one of these fishies and, um, uh, and, and that blue fish right there and the jellyfish and um, the jellyfish like this one I, like you see I started that one but I didn't finish it that's gel pen it looks smudgy but that was done on purpose what I do is I use my uh, sparkly I, you can, probably can't tell it's sparkly on the camera because of the angle my camera is at uh, and um, that I just use the really wet gel pens that I have that take forever to dry. And then after I did a little bit of it, I used my brush. I used one of my brushes that I have especially for that. Let me see if I can find it. It's, it's one of these. Um, I use it and I just go and smudge it like that. Or however I want it to come out. And that's what, and, and that gives me that. And that's what I did here, because you can see, you see a little, I don't know if you can see it really that well. But anyway, and this one will, will be green, a different shade of green. The rest of it will be done in pencil, coloring pencil. But anyway, I just wanted to show you how this is coming along. Since originally I wasn't going to do this one in the video, but it didn't work out. Well, anyway. So, back to my tiger here. Let's put, again, you know, I have my card stuck behind it. 
and I try to make sure. Uh, now, right now here, I'm not doing anything with the top, so it doesn't really matter if it sticks out or not, but I always like to have it ready just in case I forget. Uh, let me get closer here so you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so I, uh, I'm going to continue with the same two colors that I did in a previous video, and I must admit, I have to go and watch the video to remember what colors it was because... I, you know, I put it back in my set, and I think what I'm going to do is before I put them away, I'm going to write it down in my my little uh, um, tracing paper that I keep between the things, just so I don't have to watch a video every time I forget. Now I haven't really thought about what shade the brown, but um, I think. I'm going to go with this one, and I'll start, and if I don't like it, I can always change it. And this one is light umber. I can actually read that one. Uh, see. Well, anyway, it's 941. It's hard to get my camera to focus on it. Um, and uh, I think I'm going to start with the eyebrows here. Just, And I'm going lightly. I'm not really putting a lot of pressure, because again, you know, it already has that wash, so it, it, doing this mostly to emphasize it more than anything else, because I think it, it will look good, you know, by making it a little darker here and here. Again, you know, it's your coloring book. You can't really mess it up. And you can always go back and add to it if it doesn't, if you don't think, you uh, it comes out good enough, you know, if you're not happy with it. And, uh, see, uh, and because that's 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 how I do it. Let's put a little bit more here and maybe here, just just enough to make it a little darker. And I think that's all I'm gonna do over here, maybe a little bit under the eyes. Oh, okay. I apologize if I go off camera, but I get so into this. And on this one, I'm gonna also going to do it in the year over here, in the darker areas. Um, I'm not going to go too much because I want to see what it looks like first. With I want to go lighter inside the ears. I, um... I'm assuming that tigers, you know, are like all the other animals. Like I have dogs, and my dog's ears inside are a little lighter than uh, they are outside. So I'm just going to assume that. I did look at real pictures of the tiger. Um, and again, I don't usually go with... Um, the natural colors of the animals that I do. If you've seen my videos, you've seen that. Uh, I'm kind of a pink kind of person. I like pinks and purples. Pink and purples being my favorite color. Purple is actually my favorite color. Actually, lilac. But any shade of purple, I'm a happy person. And um, I'm just randomly... Because, like I said, I don't really plan these things. I'm just randomly putting it in. And then, you know, I just blend it in with other colors. And that's how I end up getting my... Uh... And so far, it's worked for me. When it stops working for me, I guess then I'll have to start coming up with something else. But until then, let's see. Now, I'll do my other brown like I done before and, and you know sometimes you can overlap the colors nothing wrong with that and you know sometimes I do circles sometimes like in this case lines I just follow the lines like that um, and I find that I like those effects so um, um, And then sometimes I go back and say, okay, now let's do the circle thing on top of the, um, and some of them I just like to do like, like that, like lines like that. And, uh, just 
enough to make it different, but I don't really. Because you got to remember, this is all going to be blended. Uh, so let's try putting a little bit more of the darker, darker brown in different areas, you know, just again randomly. Um, and uh, let's try blending what I have so far and see how, how that is going to come out. Gotta remember. If you're using uh, any kind, uh, if you're using uh, one of these, you need to, because see, this one had blue from my other picture that I just showed you that, the whale. So it's blue, so I don't want blue to get mixed in with brown. Now, sometimes I do forget and I do get it, and you know, I don't worry too much about it because most of the time it still comes out good. And like I said in the previous video, I like to blend even the ones that I just, it's not two colors, that is just a solid color. Now remember though, whatever color you start blending with, uh, not so much the light color, but if you go into the darker color, if you're blending the darker color, and if all of a sudden you go to the lighter color, it will smudge into the, the lighter color. Now, if you start with the lighter color, then it's not as big a deal to go. So, if you if you don't want it to smudge the darker color into the the lighter color, you may want to clean your you know clean clean your blender before you go to that lighter color. See, in my case, I like the blending. I like the streaks that uh, the darker color will make in the lighter color. So, I don't. Uh, if, you know, if it's something that I, I do plan on that blending, I, I don't bother cleaning it. But there are times that I don't want it to blend into the, I don't want no lines of the darker color into it. And, uh, but I think the lines, the smudging a little bit kind of makes it more natural. See, like I'm doing here because I know it's going to, and... I think it gives it character. I think I've said that before in my previous videos. And, you know, the year's already looking better, I think. And remember, it's my coloring book. If I'm happy with it, that's all it matters because it is my coloring book. No, no I'll leave those lines alone. Well... I don't know, I think this little section needs something else. Maybe a little bit of the darker blue on the edges. Maybe over here. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Let's see. Let's try the blending it a little bit. There. Okay. Oh, and I think I'm going to do that on all the tips here because I'm not good with lighting and figuring out where the light would touch something. And um, I don't really worry about that and my coloring. I just go by what I think it looks pretty good. So if my lighting is off, I, if. If you think, oh, you, that's the wrong way for the lining, well, you know, that's okay, because, again, that's not a priority for me. Let's see, go. Uh, but, you know, if you have any suggestions or you'd like to share and um, what you would do different and how would you do things, uh, please feel free to... Um, because that's how we learn, uh, that's how I've learned uh, a lot of of what I do in my coloring books was by watching a lot of YouTube's YouTube videos from other people that color. And what I do is I try, I try the different things, you know, people do, and then I keep the ones I like and the ones I don't. I don't. There you go. There's the year. There's that one year now. Am I finished with it? Probably not.
I will probably I'll probably keep adding a different uh, you know going back and forth between my light browns and my yellow and uh, and my dark browns until until I feel like okay now it's truly finished um, okay I'm at my screensaver just went up so I was afraid it turned me off but it didn't thank goodness um, and then I'll just keep doing the same thing to the other year you know I'll, I start with the start with the yellow and I'm smudging a little bit oh and I also bought some new erasers because I think I said it in the last video that I have not found an eraser that I like you know that I feel like really erases uh, my the, my pencils um so right now I use this one. Oh, not that one. Oh, where's my eraser? Right now I use this one. It's a favorite castle. Uh, but it doesn't really erase all the way. At least I, I don't know if it's something I'm doing or if it's just not meant to. It's great to help blend, and um, I do use it like when something comes out too dark. And I really wanted it lighter. Then I go over it with the lines out, which I believe I've I've mentioned that in another video. But as far as erasing, I don't. It doesn't really do it good enough for me. Oh, not the eraser on my blender. Then uh, for what I, you know, the way I ex I was expecting it to. Again, it could be something I'm doing. I don't know. But so I keep looking for different erasers, and I do have the one that you need. And, and but I, I don't know. I just haven't gotten used to using that kind of eraser. Um, and I, in that one, I'm sure it's something I'm not doing right. But um, so I'll just keep looking for erasers. Uh, uh, this video is starting to get close to the 20 minutes that I. Uh, put up for and um, so I don't really have time to go into it um, and here it is now I'm not happy with that I'll probably be adding more to it I'm not sure what um, I might do that off camera or I might not like I said I might do the rest of the head off camera so it doesn't get too boring um, so that maybe in the next video I'll actually start I'll actually start coloring you know the other parts of uh you know the like the fish and the, all the little critter things that's around the tigers uh, uh i was hoping to have i could have done the bunny but we are out of time and uh like i said i'd like to keep it at around the 20 minute mark um now if you like this video please give me a like or subscribe and um I will be putting out the part three of my Imagine, Imagine Morphia, how I color um, uh, soon, uh, maybe in a few days. Um, until then, you have a great day. Goodbye. Oops.